not very good. Uh, but uh, kind of nostalgic, so I'm probably just going to play through the first level. Uh, I played through this a little bit a couple months ago just to kind of get the hang of it. The first level is not too bad, but after that it gets uh, extremely difficult, and I wasn't able to get anywhere else in it. Uh, like I said, this is a game I had as a kid. Uh, I don't think I went out of my way to get it. Uh, if I recall correctly, my parents uh, just got it for me for birthday or something, uh, maybe Christmas. At that time, uh, you know, kind of gross stuff, uh, monsters, things like that were pretty popular. Uh, you know, there was like, uh, you know, mutants, uh, biker mice from Mars, uh, uh, street sharks. Crypt Keeper, stuff like that was very popular. I had all sorts of toys and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, they got it for me for my birthday. And, uh, and, you know, I didn't really play it too much because, uh, you know, it is extremely difficult once you get past the first level. Uh, even though that's not that easy. So there's, it's very unforgiving, you have, uh, there's no continues, and you have just, uh, three lives. So, yeah, you, you die pretty quick, and then that's it. Which is why I never really got anywhere. But yeah, it is, uh, I guess the game looks okay, uh, it plays okay, if it wasn't, if you had unlimited continue or something, you know, like, uh, similar to maybe Ninja Gaiden, uh, you know, that's a pretty difficult game, but you can, uh, once you die, you just start, like, at the back at the beginning of the level that you're at, you don't start through the whole game, so you can eventually get through it. But yeah, if you know, if I can get through this level and get to the next, you'll see I'll, I'll just probably die over and over again. Uh, more than I'm dying now. Oh well, uh, so anyways, the point of the game is you're, if, if I recall correctly, the, uh, main character, the Dr. Frankenstein's monster here, his girlfriend has been kidnapped and I think cut into pieces and scattered about the world, uh, and so you've got to find all her pieces and I guess eventually get the guy who kidnapped her, but uh, I've never really gotten that far. Uh, as a kid, I never beat the first level, but uh, when I played previously, I did manage to do that. Uh, when I was thinking about this game earlier, I thought, okay, this must be like a Metroidvania kind of thing. You know, you gotta go all around this map and get all our pieces, but it's unfortunately actually not. It's just a extremely difficult platformer. You beat levels one at a time and you know you can get to the uh, exit there once you've collected all the pieces. Uh, I, when I was playing earlier I must have went to the other level because I am not recognizing this. Uh, 
yeah, the other level I went to was just covered in guys, like, you know, flying in, they they shoot in from off screen and they kill you, and... And that's it, that's the game over. Uh... Yeah, so that was pretty quick. Uh... See, I don't really care for the game, I don't intend to continue with it. I just thought it was kind of a nice nostalgic thing to go through and uh, kind of relive my childhood. Uh, as I said, I didn't really play this much. You know, I popped in once in a while, died a couple times immediately, and then uh, played, you know, Metroid or something instead. So, uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say about it. Alright, I'll uh, probably play something else later. That was uh, pretty short. Alright, so the uh, last part was kind of short. Figured I should probably record just a little bit more. Uh, off camera, I went and beat the first level again. I only died once this time, and I'm back at the map now. Uh, I actually just realized that the map is uh, the actual world map, not a fantasy land or anything. Uh, also, I noticed I that the during the first level you are collecting uh, the pieces of your passport. Uh, not sure a passport that has been uh, ripped into multiple pieces would be acceptable, uh, but. Uh, I guess he is also a green monster, so if that's okay, a ripped passport's probably okay. Uh, looking at the level, yeah, I never noticed this before, but it is the, the real world map with various locations. Uh, looks like you're starting in either Germany or Transylvania, I'm assuming, one of those two. Uh, I'm not particularly good at geography, but looking at the map i think it is maybe closer to uh transylvania but uh i guess germany would make sense too uh, the previous level i w went to next would i guess be maybe italy somewhere around there i guess that explains the knights and stuff uh, uh i'll go to the uk there next and as you can see it's got uh various uh, UK things, there's, if I recall correctly, guys on like mopeds and punks and stuff. Uh, but looking at the map, there's actually quite a few levels that I would be interested to go to, so I think I may actually possibly continue, maybe do like a infinite lives code or something. Uh, see if I can get through. Looks like there's Egypt next, uh, then there's... I don't know, some random locations, I'm not sure what they are, uh, the one below Egypt there, uh, Sudan maybe, uh, and over on the west there's Sierra Leone, uh, I'm looking at Google Maps right now, there's no way I would know this myself, uh, Cape Town down on the south there, or somewhere off the coast. Uh, we've got Australia, uh, probably lots of big animal monsters there. Uh, Papua New Guinea, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. You know, kind of what uh, famous media monsters or whatever could be there. Uh, there's India. Uh, got Japan, of course. Uh, interested to see that level. Uh, Russia. I'm not sure why it's way over on the east coast there, what the uh, significance of that is. Uh, I would have thought they would put it just more central, but maybe there's some famous location there. Uh, nothing in China, which is, I don't know, a strange omission. Uh, moving over, we got Greenland, it looks like. Uh, Alaska there on the northwest, uh, New York, 
betting that's a late game area. Everybody will have guns shooting at you. Uh, nothing in Canada. Another strange emission. I guess they figure probably Alaska is the same. Uh, off the coast there, we've got, uh, I don't know, the string of islands there, Dominican Republic, uh, Jamaica, maybe Haiti it could be there. Down in the Central America, we've got Southern Mexico. Uh, then down a bit more, Peru and Argentina, maybe. Anyways, I'm make may try and continue a bit further just to maybe see a few of these. So now I'm going to go to a area, and you will see what I was talking about before with the guys just swooping in from off screen, just like that, just hitting you randomly all the time. I don't know how to get up to there. I think that's something I was uh, stuck at before. There's no uh, double jump that I know of. I guess I have to maybe climb up this building and take a leap off. Uh, there's a other part, like maybe a part of an envelope. people on pogo sticks. I don't know if those are popular in the UK. Got an elevator, uh, or a lift I guess you would say. Here we got the, the mohawk guy with the jukebox. or bag or something. Or what that was supposed to be. a hidden life here I just have to uh, I get that <sighs> as you can tell I'm not particularly good at platformers anyways uh, will probably be dying quite a bit. If I do decide to put in like an infinite lives code, it's uh, probably going to be the only way I'm going to get through more than this level. The... Okay, yeah, that extra life did not respawn, so that would be kind of nice, but... Aside from these uh, punch and kick, there is also I believe, three other attacks I can do. Boodles uh, on skateboards there. Other part of the uh, letter. Uh, some three other attacks I can do. I believe there's a. Alright, I think I'm gonna pause here, uh, find an infinite life code, and then uh, uh, continue. Probably get back to where I was off camera. 
All right, so I did uh, actually put on the infinite live and infinite health code, and then uh, I went through the uh, UK level there, uh, and then went to the Greenland level, I believe, but uh, I just died way, way too much. I was, you know, dying, you know, every minute or two, uh, and just not really making too much progress. I did get a couple of the body parts in the uh, Greenland level there, but it was just it was taking way too long. Probably wouldn't have been fun to watch, so I decided to just cut that, and I think I'm going to stop playing this here. Uh, probably will watch a you know better Let's Play of it sometime, just to kind of see what the other levels look like. Uh, well, I guess we're kind of seeing it here in the uh, track mode. Yeah, it's kind of too bad. This, you know, it's a fairly cool looking game. There's lots of uh, interesting enemies and like different levels that are, you know, lots of different interesting looking levels too. Uh, a lot of levels, especially if, you know, they've all got different styles. It must have been, you know, a fair bit of work to get them all made. Uh, yeah, it's just too bad that the game is so, like, oh, this is the level I was in. The, uh, Greenland level, it doesn't really look like what I thought Greenland was supposed to look like, but uh, yeah, it's just the game is just so hard, you're just constantly getting, you know, lots of levels you get hit by stuff, uh, it comes in immediately off st screen, like in the UK level there, and, uh, that Greenland level is just a big maze, there was all sorts of hidden walls and you know, places that look like walls that you could walk through and floors you could randomly drop through and I just had no idea where to go and I kept, you know, going around in circles. Uh, you know, it's pretty close to being a really good game, it's just, you know, the, you know, the insane difficulty. But I think I'll probably play something else soon. Alright. Well, I guess that was fun, just to kind of see a bit more of the game. Uh, I think uh, younger me was made the right choice and not really playing it too much. Uh, there are a lot better games on the SNES. Uh, there's probably not many worse games on the SNES, actually. Uh, I think I had a pretty good selection when I was a kid. Uh, well, not many games, but uh, I had a lot of the better ones talk about some other time. I guess that's it for the adventures of Dr. Franken.